Good afternoon, Steve Newman from Sean Scalzi. He's taking a well-deserved Friday off, and it's a beautiful day to take a day off, although it's a little breezy out there, and if you look very carefully, you can see a little chop on bay waters. It's probably going to get even more choppy as we move in tonight and tomorrow, so not a great smooth day to be out on the Gulf of Mexico or even our bays. Right now at 84 degree temperature, warming up hour by hour, the dew point 69. That's kind of comfortable. It's not bad with that northeasterly wind flow. Our humidity currently 61%. Now, high pressure over eastern Kentucky and Tennessee right now is channeling a strong northeasterly wind flow across the state. A lot of times that would bring in showers from the Atlantic, but we're really not seeing that. The air is not dry enough to support that kind of parade of showers. But if you look very closely, you can see the low-level flow coming in off the Gulf. But the high-level flow with the cirrus clouds aloft coming in from the southwest. So we've got it coming from both ways. Over the Atlantic, our tropical weather outlook shows nothing suspicious going on in the tropical Atlantic. And there's nothing suspicious going on in the Caribbean either. Uh, this is where we want to keep our eye out for the rest of October and into November. Remember, if things could suddenly appear and head northward into the Gulf, that doesn't look likely anytime soon. Maybe not for the rest of the season, but we're keeping a very close eye on the tropics day by day here in the Weather Center. On the other side of that high, that moisture coming in from the south is bringing showers into Louisiana and East Texas. This morning it was cold in Dixie. It was in 40s, uh, 48 degrees in Atlanta, I think 42 at Raleigh. It was warmer there than in New York City, but things are beginning to even out. And we've also had a nice area of high pressure really extending across most of the nation, keeping things fairly tranquil. That's going to change over the weekend as this front comes into the plains, could create a tornado outbreak, severe thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon into Sunday over the the heartland, and this is the front that will eventually get us with cooler temperatures by next Tuesday and Wednesday. But last night and today, it's been bringing blessed rain and mountain snow to California, helping the firefighting efforts by getting the humidity up, dousing the ground with about a third inch of rain, and also the, lowering the humidities as well. So that's the front we're going to be looking at for the next several days. Until then, look for the weekend weather to be breezy today, tonight, and tomorrow, and it's going to be dry. I'm putting a 10% chance of showers in for tonight and tomorrow, and then we have that front coming by the middle of next week, cooling things off. Now here's our future cast showing that high in control, channeling the northeast winds over it, making us breezy and gusty today, but also dry. Not seeing anything in the way of showers pop in. Sunday, it moistens up a little bit. We could see some afternoon evening showers then, but until then, it will be dry. Going to get rough on the water. Winds increasing northeasterly 15 to 20 knots, seas 2 to 4 feet. Moderate chop on bay and inland waters today. Tonight and tomorrow, it will be downright choppy. And the Gulf temperature is 85, which will probably go down once that cold front comes by. 86, the beach temperature tomorrow. Here's my forecast for the rest of today. It'll be partly sunny and breezy. Our high temperature, 88 degrees, a little warmer than normal for this time of year, but we're going to work on that for next week. Northeast winds, 10 to 20. And here's our seven-day outlook. And this is a forecast, very interesting, breezy for two days. Chance of rain goes up Wednesday. As the front approaches Monday, it gets a greater chance. The front goes by on Tuesday, and then we cool off.